That man? That had better be you. And you keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark knight? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lasts, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> But don't despair, Dark Knight. You did one challenge already. So let's see how long it takes for you to turn a running start into a stumble and fall. Take that rocket-fueled roadster and head on over to Chinatown, Detective. Your second test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman... I need to go back to the bridge to bring the Batmobile onto Miyagani Island. To save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped. Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. A challenge beneath Chinatown? Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selima's life depends on it.
Dark Knight, eager for more? <laughs> it's humbling, isn't it? The opportunity to even glimpse my greatness, the dawning realization of just how insignificant, how unworthy of note you really are? Really? These trials are my masterpieces, Detective. When I have defeated you, they will become monuments to my genius. Testaments to your stupidity. Crowds of school children will pack themselves in this elevator, eager to see for themselves the place where the Dark Knight was defeated. <sighs> they won't understand a thing, of course, but they'll come. should manage a feeble grasp of the premise. You must provide power to this board, detective. Stuck, Batman? Already? I cannot quite believe this, but I actually feel disappointed. your way to victory. Blunder. Time to help Catwoman with her key. Now then, detective, hop on the pressure pad beside me. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see them, Eddie. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. The others? They contain less useful keys. Keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Your job, detective, is simple. Figure out which cabinet Catwoman must open. And don't get it wrong. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. One down. Just this once, I've lowered the count on Catwoman's collar by two digits. To account for Batman's earlier success. I could have simply started the count on eight, but, well, nine lives? I couldn't resist. Resist. 
Now, Catwoman, celebrate your survival by telling Batman all about the exciting orphanage development. About the celebrating orphanage development. No, you do it. Now, Kitty. Kitty. Why, Batman, there's a big mysterious green door. Yes, yes, there is. Come back to the orphanage, Batman, and I'll let the pair of you through it. <laughs> Catwoman, this evening is not about you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well done, Dark Knight. You should, I hope, be beginning to comprehend the breadth of the tasks ahead of you, the sheer scale of the gauntlet I have thrown down. Or perhaps not. Perhaps, perhaps you're feeling cocky. Perhaps these early victories have filled you with early false hope. Well then, ride that wave of smug satisfaction all the way back to the orphanage. I'm waiting. Orphanage. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. You see what that thing does to cars? I ain't staying to find out! Alfred, I'm at the bridge. One moment, sir. I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drones, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Sergeant, Mercy Bridge is being lowered. He's coming. Mamba drones online and ready to engage. Multiple drones offline. What the hell was that? The enemies acquired simultaneous strike capabilities. Then faster. Direct hit on Rattler. Armor still holding. Arkham Knight, come in. Defense is breached. He's moving on to Mew.
payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Congratulations, sir. Bomb destroyed. You're not taking any more from me, Batman. Next time, you'll die trying. The Arkham Knight's vehicle swerved and crashed up ahead. Car's empty. The Arkham Knight must have taken Oracle and moved on. I should examine the vehicle more closely. The car veered off an empty road. Why? Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. Torn cleanly off the hinges. The door must have been opened before the Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction, pinpoint where she landed. free of the vehicle before the crash. <laughs> Oracle stopped here. Someone took a shot at her. I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence. The caliber of the weapon is a match for the Arkham Knight's sidearm. The trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height. At this range, he couldn't have missed. A warning shot. I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. 
She must have left a clue while crawling away. Lucius, Oracle left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe. Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. <laughs> 